Doing product reviews is not normally my thing, but I wanted to share my experience I had with this Bars Leaks radiator stop leak. The vehicle I tested this stuff on is another recent purchase. It's another antique car, and the video on that will be coming up pretty soon. So, let's get to it. I had a little accident when we were loading this onto the trailer when I bought it, and we damaged this uh, tube in the radiator, <clears throat> and it was leaking in here. So I've cut it in half, and then I rolled it up on top, and I rolled it down on the bottom and tried to pinch it off as best I could. So before I spend 800 bucks on a new radiator, I'm going to try some of this Bars Leaks radiator stop leak. So I thought it was worth a shot. Do this when your engine is cold. So let's look at this leak a little bit more closely before we add the uh, stop leak. It doesn't look like the top one is, man, there's a little, a little moisture there and you can see the wetness you know, right up until about there. So using this method, um, obviously you're going to lose your flow in this one tube but that's one tube out of a whole lot let's top it off with some antifreeze all right now start and run for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so I let it run for about 18 minutes. As per the instructions and I'm not seeing much of a change it could be that this uh, works better for uh, vehicles with pressurized systems with just a thermal siphon that stuff may have a hard time finding the leak that's actually a little better than it was that side. This top one is no longer oozing at all. So that's an improvement for sure because there was, it would get just a little bead of liquid right on the end and then it would drip. But it's dry up here now. Okay, so the right hand side of this repair is no longer wet and it was wet before. So that is also an improvement. The left side of the repair is still a little bit wet. So I think what I'll do is let it cool down and then come back out and check it tomorrow. See if it leaks at all overnight. It's virtually dry. So I guess I'll start it up and let it heat up again and then cool back down and see if there's any change to what we see right here. I did get in here and uh, clean up the fins a little bit and painted it black. And then I put this little number plate over the top so it's not quite as obvious as it was. But the most important thing is, is this is not leaking at all anymore. 
whether it's running or not, whether it's hot or cold, it's completely dry in here. So my only conclusion is that that stop leak stuff worked because I didn't do anything else.